couple of things that we're doing now is we're going to go down to the cabin and of course I just every time I come up here I was in wow of the the view and all the accessibility that Mark has created for us over the years with road structure in fact these roads you can see from the road so it's like you could identify almost where everything goes right down here is where we're going to build our barn next year I better get out of the way so Mark can drive the Suburban down with the boys hello there guys this is not a good terrain for Riker and Dax because they trip and fall and they we don't want them to get hurt, so they get a ride in the Suburban as for the other children, like this guy, mm, has thanks, to walk. Thanks for that. I'm on YouTube now. I'll probably delete that, Everest. Oh, man. You messed that up already. Yeah. <laughs> I dare you, Mom. You're not going to delete it, by the way. I just might. This is our. You should ask no man's head in. This is both of our what? pastures here. And one of the great things is we have this water trough that feeds two of the troughs Ew. right there. But today we need to fill up our white ones so it trickles down to our big ones so the goats have plenty of water. They still have enough feed in this pasture. It's about four and a half acres. Um, and there's obviously nine goats less so it's clearly going to be enough for them to still go through however we're wanting to get our house pasture fixed so we can get them back home for winter um just a quick view of our where the barn's going to go and we're going to have it it doesn't look like it was hard to do and there's some more videos about how long it took to clear this mountainside mark pretty much said that he was scraping like at a fingernail at a hillside so it took weeks to create this pad here and one again the view is just incredible a nice big driveway that he pushed out and then this driveway comes up to the pasture and then it creates both the pastures together. So lots of accessibility there. But next year we're hoping to build him a beautiful shop, AKA barn. He's installed quite a bit of hydrants all over the property. So we got one right here by our barn and then we have one right where the water system is up there. So we have a closer access. We don't have a well yet, so we haul our water in but every time we come in, except for today, of course, we didn't. We would bring 250 gallons of water. We don't stay up here full time, but when uh, when we do, we have plenty of water for days on end. Um, the footers are already been poured, as you can see, and he's just really excited to get this thing standing. We got our horse trailer here, and. Once we get this standing, we'll have a washroom, shower room, battery room, storage for food. And then we'll have our chicken coop in this area and our goat access area. And that will give us the go ahead to move up here. If you can wash clothes and wash your body, uh, we can do it. Um, as far as water, the first thing that, maybe the second actually, is to drill a well. Because right now we have about 2,000 gallons stored up in water. And we're going to fill it up before winter comes to five. And that will get us through. We, we, have, we don't really consume a lot of water in the first place other than drinking and washing. 
and washing the clothes, we might just opt out to go to the laundry mat for a while until we get the well drilled. <clears throat> but we have the place and I, I wonder if I could see the water hose, well, there it is. This is where it's gonna go down to the well. So we have it coiled up and ready to go. He just needs to get the excavator down through all this area, down to the well pad. That's uh, gonna be a challenge, but he's ready for it. We're ready for it. So we're gonna go down to the cabin. Of course, the road work is fantastic. If anyone's ever climbed a hill on the side and not having flat feet when you're older, it kind of gets a little bit old. We still need to cut our firewood, but it's there, it's dry. The bark is almost off and we'll cut the firewood. And of course we have so much deadfall that it's almost, it's almost an abundance of firewood. We have our fireplace here. We're gonna be moving it from here. So little by little, the rocks are gonna move over here and make it a, a bigger spot. This is our solar shower that we've created. And man, this is a great little spot. You go take a shower in this around 5.30 and look at the, we try to be fancy and just use the remainder of our tile to I don't know for what, just for, I guess, for the appeal of it, I guess. Our outdoor kitchen here. And again, the water is life. As for many homesteaders would say, that water is life. There's another hydrant here. Most of our breakfast and coffee time is just right here. You spill a little coffee, it's no big deal. The table, I'd like to refinish and put a bright color on it, but we'll see. And this is our cabin. It's heaven here. Um, of course, we like to mountain bike and and uh, we're gonna we're just finishing it up. So I'm gonna show the inside real quick. Mark did all of this four years ago, and it's just a really, really wonderful space. Right now, what would you say the degrees are in here? What are you like? Feels that it's 69 degrees. 69 degrees inside, because it's well insulated, and outside it's about 83 to 85. So, we still got a couple more boards to put up, but we just finished the tile work here last week. Yeah, last week. And this is the mantle that Mark built. Um, and of course we did our copper, uh, copper spindles. And there's our bunker and it's a mess up there. I'm hoping to get some better bedding to make it look all uniform and attractive. So. But we love this place. This is probably a joy. We come here and it's quiet and the sunset's beautiful. Everything. So 